Hello guys, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a web button in Photoshop. I have done tutorial in the past showing you how to create a web button. You can check out other videos based on creating web button on my channel. Now let's begin. Create a Photoshop document. Go to File, then New adjust your document size then click ok now i'll change the background color to gray for that i'll apply gradient effect on the document select the gradient tool then radial gradient now click edit gradient now select foreground to background gradient now click on left side of color stop then color and apply the code the code is f3 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 three times now click ok then click on right side of color stop then color and apply the code c6 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 three times then click ok now click ok now drag with your mouse from top to bottom on the document to apply the gradient effect. Now select rectangle tool and draw the shape. After that apply gradient overlay. Go bottom and click on this effects icon then select gradient overlay. Now click edit gradient then left side color stop then color and change the code code is d to three times then click ok now change the right side color stop then color and apply code f7 three times then ok then click ok now apply stroke select stroke and keep size 1 pixel and change the color code is sc 3 times then click ok now apply inner glow select white color change the color then click ok then click ok now create a new layer click on bottom of this icon new layer created now zoom in the rectangle shape select zoom tool and plus then make it big now select rectangular marquee tool and draw from the top to the bottom of the shape like this keep one pixel wide and fill with the color same as stroke color select paint bucket tool then change the foreground color the code is AC three times then click OK and paint inside the selection now press ctrl and D to deselect the selection repeat this again this time draw the line right side of the first line select rectangular marquee tool and draw and select paint bucket tool and paint inside now press ctrl and D to deselect now create another new layer go bottom here and click on this icon new layer created and change the foreground color to black and select a soft edge brush make sure brush hardness is 0% after that click once on the two lines now grab the rectangular marquee tool again and draw on the two lines and drag it to the right side 
then press delete button on keyboard and press ctrl and d to deselect and decrease the layer opacity to 15 percent it's created shadow effect on the two lines select layer 1 and 2 together hold on shift button on keyboard and click on layer 2 and layer 1 to select them together now press ctrl and g on keyboard to group them now add a layer mask on group go bottom here and click on layer mask icon set foreground color to black it's already black select a soft edge brush and remove top and bottom of the line gently select brush and select 0% hardness brush adjust your brush size on keyboard square bracket button and start removing gently just like this now select text and write anything you want In this case i am writing download click on confirmation mark select move tool and move it to in a suitable position now open blending option right click on text layer then select blending options select inner shadow change the opacity to 45 percent and change the color to white then click ok now select color overlay and change the color the code is bd three times now click ok then ok after that duplicate the text layer press ctrl and j on keyboard to duplicate the text layer drag the copy layer below to original layer open the blending option right click on layer then blending options and uncheck the inner shadow and change the color overlay to white then click ok ok now press bottom arrow key on keyboard once then right arrow key once now i'll draw a down arrow icon select custom shapes then grab the arrow shape now draw on the shape now i'll rotate it to 90 degree press ctrl and t for free transform now drag with your mouse and rotate it to 90 degree i'll apply same effects as i did on text select blending option right click and open blending options select inner shadow make the color white okay then opacity to 45 percent then color overlay and color code is bd three times then click ok then click ok now duplicate the layer press ctrl and j to duplicate the layer now drag the copy layer below to original layer and open blending option right click select blending option uncheck the inner shadow and change color overlay to white then click ok now click ok now press on keyboard down arrow once and right arrow once now i have completed this if you want to save it go to file save as you can save it to a psd format for website you can rename it save If this tutorial is beneficial to you, please do like, share and subscribe and comment if you want more tutorial like this in the future. Thank you.